Hey everybody, I'm Brian Enton in for Dan Abrams tonight. He is on vacation this week. Thanks a lot, Chris. We're going to continue to cover this breaking news, these documents that just came out uh, right before the show in the case of Brian Koberger, the suspected Idaho student killer, revealing what could actually be a major problem for prosecutors, possible misconduct on the part of an officer involved in the case. That was revealed uh, during an internal affairs investigation and could involve information that could actually help the defense. In a notice filed to the court on Monday and released just a little more than an hour ago, state prosecutors have now notified the court that, quote, the state has become aware of potential Brady Giglio material related to one of the officers involved in the above referenced case. That material in the form of confidential internal affairs investigation, key in on that word right there, is hereby submitted in camera to the court. And the state goes on to say it will disclose this information to Koberger's attorneys, but because the information is confidential, Prosecutors are asking the judge to issue a protective order to prohibit defense counsel from, quote, disseminating the information contained in the internal affairs investigation without court approval. Look, I know it's confusing. I was just telling Jesse Weber, who joins us now, I had to read the document like three times. I'm not a lawyer, yep. um, but certainly this doesn't seem like a good thing for the prosecution. It's not. So let me just break it down real quick. It's called a Brady Giglio issue, right? So what that means is prosecutors by law have to turn over to the defense any evidence that might help the defense, might exonerate the defendant. And that includes, and this is the Giglio portion, any evidence that might impeach the credibility of a witness. And who have they referred to here? A police officer as part of an internal affairs investigation. So what could this be? What's the worst case? Let's say this was an officer that provided an affidavit in support of a search warrant for key evidence in this case. If that officer lied as a part of that affidavit, if this officer withheld information as a part of that affidavit, the potentially this evidence could be thrown out. This is a big problem for the prosecution. Now, I heard Dave Arenberg on Cuomo show. This could also be something different. This could be something personal about the officer. But by law, they'll have to disclose it because let's say here's a different example. An officer maybe had a pattern of misconduct. Maybe it wasn't directly related to the Koberger investigation. But if this is an officer who maybe lied in the past or had some sort of misconduct, this is something the defense needs to know, whether they cross-examine the officer or not in a future trial. But I think this is going to be very important for the defense, and clearly, we don't know what this information is. It is under seal, but I have seen cases before be dismissed because of Brady Giglio violations and officers terminated because of this. So basically, it seems that there is an officer involved in the Koberger case who has an internal affairs investigation. The prosecution has now decided we need to make this, um, we need to make the defense aware of it. Is it possible the prosecution is just thinking, look, this is a huge case. We want to be as careful as possible. This isn't a big deal, but let's let's do this anyway. Or does this mean that it's actually something significant? They, by law, have to turn over anything that might feed, might meet that criteria. So they are doing their job. We don't really know how significant it ultimately is. But when I read the words of an internal affairs investigation, my first thought is whatever this officer did or did not do, it makes it seem like it might not just be this case. It could be something further. And look, at the, at the end of the day, we're not sure what the impact is going to be. But when you hear the Brady Giglio violation, I've seen problems. I've seen cases thrown out. And officers, this is the last thing they want to be on. I mean, if you are put on this list of potential violations, it can really torpedo your career and can really blacklist you in a way. So is it possible that we'll figure out what all of this means? Because there's the gag order in place. With this whole situation in case, we've been having to piece together puzzle pieces because there's so much redacted every time they release something. You think we'll get the details on this? Potentially. Um, there's a part of it where if, let's say this case is ultimately dismissed. I'm not saying that's going to be the case. I'm curious to see what would be allowed to be said about it or not. Then again, if this officer, and if evidence is thrown out, that's a separate question. But if this officer, whoever it is, makes it to a trial, they can be cross-examined about this material, and maybe eventually we would learn what it could be. It's going to be interesting. Jesse, you were at dinner. We called you. Oh, my gosh, there was a document dump. It's important. Come back to the state. You know, come back over here. Help us understand it. You did. We appreciate you coming Of course, out, Brian. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you for watching. 
Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your cable provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.